What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video I'm going to be answering a question I get a lot, which is actually explaining the ad budget when you run a promotion. A lot of people get confused and they think that the budget they set is the actual amount of money that they're going to be spending. So basically I'm just going to break down how the budget and ad spend works for an Instagram promotion. And this is also the same principle for Facebook ads and Instagram ads when you go through the Facebook ads manager. Okay, so I'm just going to jump on my phone and basically create a promotion and show you how it works. So let's just say I take this post, I decide I want to promote it, I'm going to go through this real quick and only talk about the budget select my profile automatic okay now we're on the budget and duration so here at the budget and duration you actually set a budget of how much you can possibly spend in a day this doesn't mean you're going to spend exactly five pounds or five euros or five dollars a day it means that instagram is going to know that their limit is five euros it's possible they only spend three quid it's possible they only spend four it's possible they spend 489 it's possible they do spend five but just because you set the budget as five a day it doesn't mean that's going to be the amount that is spent Let's say I set the budget as five euros a day for five days. The budget, the total budget over five days is 25 euros. My ad can't spend more than 25 euros. Now, if I click next and let's just say I create a promotion, the payment, I've got my PayPal, right? Now, Facebook or Instagram isn't going to take payment straight away. They need to wait until your promotion is finished running to take the payment. So if I do create promotion, I'll show you here. It's a little bit more obvious. If I go into my promotion, okay, and the one right here I've just created, as we can see, we've got spend and next to it says zero euros out of 25. So that's the amount of your budget that's been spent. These two ads that I've got here, these two promotions, they're both on zero because they're both in review and nothing has been spent yet. So if I cancel them now, nothing is going to be spent. So if I click on the ad or how do I cancel it? If I click on view insights, go to the bottom, delete promotion. So if I delete this promotion, um, this means that none of the budget that I set is going to be spent. Even once it's accepted, if it's still on zero spend, none of your money is going to be taken from your PayPal or your bank card or whatever payment method you set. Let's say you decide to delete the promotion halfway through and it's spent, let's say for this promotion, 15 euros out of the 30 you're only going to be charged 15 euros. If you haven't spent the rest of your budget, which was the remaining 15 euros, you won't be charged that. A lot of people think that they're gonna be charged the entire budget, even though they delete the promotion beforehand. So I just wanna make this as clear as possible. So if your ad spend is zero when you end the promotion, even though you set a budget of, let's just say $100, you're not gonna be charged anything. You don't buy a promotion of 30 pounds, you set a budget of 30 pounds maximum. Let's say throughout the week, your budget was 30 pounds and the performance of the ad only spent 25, you're only going to be charged 25 pounds. Now there's a threshold of money that you need to reach for your account to be charged. And if you haven't reached that threshold, you'll just be billed the amount that you spend on the ad at the end of every month. For an example, if I go into my PayPal, as we can see here, Facebook, I'm pretty sure this was an ad spend of two euros and 32 cents. That's because it was on the 31st of December. If I go up some more, maybe I can find another Facebook end of the month, 29th of February, 62 euros. Um, that was taken at the end of the month because I hadn't reached the threshold. Again here, 86 euros, 31st of March, end of the month. So that is when you'll be billed for your promotions. So I hope this was clear for you guys. Any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below, but I think I've covered everything and explained it as best as I can. So I made this video about fixing your promotions which are stuck in pending, and I got a lot of hate on it because a Apparently it wasn't very helpful. Now, I said how to fix it and the two answers were contact Facebook or delete the promotion and start again. And I just want to say, first of all, I'm trying to help you. Second of all, if you've come from that video to this one and now you understand the budget, um, please let me know because a lot of people were asking that exact question on that video. And um, yeah, I'm sorry my videos can be a waste of time sometimes. I'm just trying to help. That being said, thanks for watching. Peace out. Shout out to everyone who liked that video though and the dislikers, fuck off. <sighs> I'm just, I'm, ah. Uh... I'm just trying to, I literally, I'm making videos trying to help people and I still get hate. I don't get it. I don't get it. The world's a cruel place.